Thelma Estrin's technical career began during the war effort. Now at UCLA, she is known for pioneering the use of computers in biomedical engineering. Some friends of mine who worked at Columbia University told me about the Neurological Institute and the electroencephalography department. The electroencephalography is studying electrical waves on the surface of the head. Thelma's husband, Jerry Estrin, was helping to build a digital computer at Princeton University's Institute for Advanced Study. John von Neumann, who many people consider the father of computing, led the team. John von Neumann was very interested in the brain, and he kept asking me all sorts of questions. It was at their suggestion that I should think about using computers to study um, brain waves. In the midst of this blossoming career, Thelma and Jerry began a family. Their first two daughters were born before and after she and Jerry built Israel's first computer, the WISAC. Later, at UCLA's Brain Research Institute, Thelma pioneered the use of computer graphics and the CAT scan to simulate neurosurgery. As a National Science Foundation appointee in the early 80s, she oversaw grants totaling 30 million annually and she appeared on television to discuss the future of computing. 